You're listening to the Functional Marketing 101 podcast, episode number 20. Welcome to the Functional Marketing 101 podcast, where it's all about you developing the mindset, belief, and online marketing and sales processes to get your coaching business to six figures and beyond. And now your host, functional marketing coach, award-winning author, and a total online marketing geek, Donna Joy Usher. So you may or may not know that I promised you that every 10th episode of Functional Marketing 101 would be a guided meditation. Because one of the things that I see when I'm coaching with people, one of the biggest problems that they have, one of the biggest obstacles that gets in their way is themselves. And so I have started, as I trained as a hypnotherapist, one of the things I really loved doing was creating meditations and taking people into sessions. So I'm creating self-guided meditations for you so that you can start to really have success within your business. So this episode number 20 of Functional Marketing 101 is a self-worth meditation that I've created specifically to help you release those that little voice in your head, the one that tells you awful things about yourself, the one that makes you doubt yourself, the one that leads you to procrastinate and just outright stop. So this meditation is designed to help you to overcome that. So do it as often as you need, as many times as you need. But if you are driving right now, listening to my podcast, please stop this uh, episode. Do not listen to this while you're driving. It is designed to be done where you are at home or somewhere where you can relax in a relaxed state. It goes for 45 minutes. So you want to set aside 45 minutes of time where you can be in a safe space of your own, where you can listen to this guided meditation. And I hope that you enjoy it. Welcome to this meditation specifically designed to increase self-worth. Now, if you are listening to this and you're not at home in a comfortable place, uh, for instance, if you're driving or something like that, please stop and don't listen to this while you're driving. Make sure you're at home in a comfortable, safe space where you're not going to be disturbed for the next 30 to 45 minutes. Get comfortable, sit in a nice relaxed position. You can lie down if you want, that's okay too. And just getting comfortable now. And when you are comfortable, let's start the meditation. And we're going to start by just taking a nice big deep breath in through your nose, just allowing that air to flow down into your lungs, just concentrating on the feel of that air moving into your body. And when you're ready, just let it all oh, just rush back out of you. When ready, you're ready to take another deep breath. Just once again, allow that air to flow into your body. Feel it moving inside you. Feel it flowing down into your lungs. Feel the way it feels to have it filling you up from the inside out. And just holding on to it for a few seconds before you just let it rush out again and just continue to breathe in and breathe out in a way that is just right for you concentrating as you do on the feel of that breath on how it feels to breathe how it feels to have that air flowing into you, filling you up as if there were two balloons inside you inflating. Feel how it feels to have your ribcage rise. Feel how it feels to have all these muscles moving of their own accord. And then feel how it feels to have that air rush back out of you again allowing those two balloons to deflate. (sighs) And just allowing your mind to concentrate on how it feels to breathe. Something that we do quite naturally, quite easily, unconsciously, as the air flows in and out of our body, 
when we are awake and when we are asleep, that air flowing in, bringing us what we need, oxygen that comes into our body and flows around our body, giving ourselves what it needs to make energy and stay alive. And just as every in-breath brings life, every out-breath takes things away that we do not need. Carbon dioxide, other gases, toxins, stress, things that our body no longer needs. It takes it away, back out into the universe. And maybe you want to take an extra couple of deep breaths in. Maybe you want to experiment with your breath. Do some quick shallow breaths or even deeper breaths where you hold on to them before letting them flow back out. And maybe at this point now you need to wriggle around to get more comfortable. That's fine too. Just wriggle around so that you are perfectly comfortable and perfectly relaxed as we continue the exploration of the breath. And with every in-breath, bringing in calm, serenity, peace, relaxation, and every out-breath taking away the stress and the tension of the last few days of weeks, of months, just allowing this time now to be just for you, there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to think about, just giving your mind permission now to relax, to let go, to release. <sighs> there's nothing for it to do now, but to let go and relax and to listen to the sound of my voice. Sometimes it can be hard to let go. Sometimes we feel like there's things we need to remember. There's things we need to hang on to. There's things we need to worry about, like a dog gnawing at a bone. We hold on to these things, hold them close to us. But now is the time to let them drift away, knowing that they will be there waiting for you. There's no need to hold on to them for this moment. There's no need to remember them for this moment. Just allowing them to float away, far enough away, that you can have this time, this space to relax and allowing your body to reset now. <sighs> and just like a stormy ocean that rocks the boat to and fro, just allowing that ocean now to start to quiet. For those winds that whip those waves into a froth just allowing them now to start to die down so that that big ocean, that big swell, that topsy-turvy waves that rock that boat become smaller and smaller until they are just a small swell and then just a ripple and then they are gone, allowing your mind to be that perfectly smooth ocean. Allow it now just to relax, allowing it to become like a mirror, so glassy smooth that it would reflect the birds flying over the small puffy clouds in the sky that anyone peering into it 
could see down to the depths, deep, deep down, where the big fish swim, where the whales play, and yet, at the same time, they could also see their own reflection. <sighs> I'm just resting there now, in that calm, calm place, allowing your body to relax giving it permission to release the tension stored within. Any tension that is left, just allowing it now to leave. And feeling your head growing heavier. Feel it sinking back. If you are lying down, feel it heavier and heavier on that pillow or that cushion. And feeling your body, your arms going limp. Feel the weight of your hands pressing down, whether it be onto your lap, or your legs, or the couch, or the mattress. Just allowing the muscles to release that stress, that tension that they use for perfect control. Allowing it now to evaporate like water under a brilliant sunshine. Just evaporating up into the sky. Allowing that tension to unfold and unleash. For it to disappear and dissipate. Allowing your body to remember what it feels like to be totally relaxed. For those busy, busy synapses that spend their time sending messages around the body, just allowing them to relax. There is nothing for them to do. And allowing each limb in turn to grow heavier to let gravity take over your arms, your chest, your stomach, your back, your neck, your head, your thighs, your calves, your feet, allowing them all now to release that last bit Imagining that you are so relaxed as if you are lying on a brilliant white sandy beach with the sun beating down on your body. And there is just enough of a breeze to take the sting from that sun so that you are at that perfect warm temperature that will allow you to relieve a state of total relaxation. You can feel your body starting to ooze on the ground. Oh, as that heat just melts any leftover tension out of you, evaporating it up to the sky. And maybe on that beach you can hear the edge of the ocean lapping gently on the shore as you look out over that still, still water, that perfectly flat and perfectly calm ocean, just allowing your mind and your body to agree that there is nothing to do but to relax and just allowing yourself to rest there now in that state of relaxation a gift from you to you this time out 
allowing you to be perfect in this space, allowing you to be what you need to be right now. Mm. And just allowing yourself to be aware of the center point of your being. Maybe it's in your stomach, maybe it's in your chest, maybe it's in your throat or your head, maybe it is everywhere. Just allowing yourself to be aware of it and just being there now, sinking into that center point of your being, into that safe space inside created by you, for you, a place that you can go whenever you need to. <sighs> and just resting there now, in that center point of your being, feeling the stillness, hearing the silence. Allowing the spaciousness to open up around you. This sacred place just for you. And allowing yourself to sink ever deep within this center point of your being. Being aware of it. How it feels to be there. How it feels to be floating stillness and silence and spaciousness and how it feels to be there in this place that is just for you, a place nowhere else can go, a place, a safe space where you can always find when you need it. And as you rest there now, feeling it around you, wrapping you up, keeping you safe, like a big hug from you to you. And as you rest there, perhaps you can hear the sound of that sun. you can hear a sound that is your sound. I'm just thinking even deeper now into this space. Maybe it's totally dark there. Maybe it's filled with light. Whichever is just perfect. Just resting there now as we begin our journey towards greater understanding and self-worth. And maybe in that center point of your being, you want to sit down in a comfortable place. Maybe you want to remain standing. Maybe you want to kneel sit in a cross-legged position, or even lie down there, whichever you want is just perfectly fine, so just allowing yourself to do that there now, and when you are ready, you're going to explore the signs and symptoms that come from a lack of self-belief and a lack of self-worth. And I want you to allow the thoughts to come to you now. The random thoughts that pepper your day. The things that seem to come as if thought by someone other than you and yet they are in your head. Maybe it's something like 
I'm never going to make this work. Maybe it's something like, I'm not good enough. Maybe it's, I'm not pretty enough, or talented enough, or special enough, or who am I kidding? I'm never going to make it. Whatever those thoughts are, just allowing them to come to you now so that you can examine them. Allowing them to let themselves be known, to rise to the surface. Perhaps you were already aware of them. Perhaps you weren't quite sure. Just allowing them to be there with you now. Just holding space for those thoughts that do not mean anything, for they are just thoughts, but allowing them to be. And when you have gathered all those thoughts together, I want you to allow the feelings that come with those thoughts to be present in your body. Perhaps it is a feeling of sadness, perhaps grief, perhaps irritation or anger. Just allowing whatever emotions those thoughts bring on, perhaps despair. Allow it to be there now, an emotion that is caused by these thoughts the emotion that ultimately leads to an action or an inaction on your part. Allowing the emotion to be there now and to recognize it. And when it is, I want you to look deeper still. Let's examine how that emotion feels in your body. Maybe it's a heaviness, maybe a tingling, a pressure, a pain. Maybe it's in your chest, or your throat, or your hands, or your legs. Just allowing that emotion to come fully emerged from within and to bring with it the sensations in the body. And when they are there, I want you to acknowledge them fully and allow them to be there. Place your concentration on that feeling, on how it feels to have that feeling, on how that feeling resonates in your body. Acknowledge it. Allow it to be there because it's waited a long time to be felt, a long time to be recognized, a long time to be acknowledged. And as you feel it, stay with it. Let it do what it needs to do to be heard to be felt, to be noticed. Maybe initially it's just the tip of the iceberg and as you give it attention, it grows stronger, coming more into your body, spreading out or shifting or moving. That's okay. Allow it to do it. Maybe it stays soft as it moves and shifts through your body. Just giving it what it needs, acknowledgement, allowing it to move as it wants to move, as it releases from your body. And just being aware of those thoughts that cause these emotions cause these feelings in your body and allowing them start to unravel in your mind 
as these sensations twist and turn in your body. And just giving yourself the time now for these feelings to do what they need to do. Just keep bringing your mind back to them, concentrating on the feeling of them, on how it feels in your body. It's time to allow it to be there, so that we can allow it to release. Now, when you can feel those emotions, those feelings are losing their hold, maybe they're totally gone, maybe they're still there, but they're fainter, mere echoes of what they once were. Just remembering you can come back to this and repeat this exercise as often as you need to allow them to keep unraveling and now we're going to continue our journey on our path to self-worth and self-belief and we're going to shift where we are moving through time and space until we are sitting on the edge of a gigantic volcano and you can look down into that volcano and although you can feel the heat it's not too hot and you are quite safe there is nothing here that is going to harm you so just rest in comfort and enjoy the view from the edge of that volcano looking deep down into that crater and that orange glow. Maybe you can see that lava, thick globs bubbling from the heat. Maybe you can see bits going up into the air with the energy from within that volcano. And knowing that that heat 
in that lava is hot enough to destroy anything we put in there. And now, beside you, find a pad of paper and a pen. And I want you, one by one, to write those thoughts, those thoughts that come to you unbidden, those thoughts that make you doubt yourself, question yourself, those thoughts that rob you of energy, steal your momentum, and stop you from having the success that you want. One by one, I want you to write those thoughts on a piece of paper and then tear each piece of paper off after you've finished writing the thought down and we're going to get rid of it. How you do that is your choice. Maybe you want to just scrunch it up and toss it into the volcano. Maybe you want to make a paper plane out of it and throw it into the volcano so you can watch it circling down, down, down before finally it lands in that lava and explodes into a little ball of fire of its own, taking with it that thought, the emotions that come with it. So just spend some time now having fun with this writing down those thoughts, tearing off those pieces of paper and then getting rid of them into that volcano whichever way you want. And just remembering that you can come back to this volcano whenever you need to, whenever you want to get rid of something. You can come here and write it down and get rid of it. 
but for now, we're going to journey down the side of the volcano, moving away from it, leaving behind everything we put inside it, everything that is gone, destroyed, shattered, leaving it far behind us as we work away from our doubts, we walk away from those thoughts, we leave them far behind as we journey down the edge of that volcano. And as we walk, you can see in the distance a forest of mighty oaks. And we're going to journey now towards that forest. Maybe you want to keep walking. Maybe you want to run like the wind. Maybe you want to float or fly. However you want to get to that forest, you do that now. Enjoying the journey and how it feels to be free. And as you approach the edge of that forest, you can see those magnificent oaks towering above you. You can feel now the coolness of the forest coming out to greet you. You can see those gigantic oaks towering above you. Maybe you can hear that song. Maybe it's totally still as you step into the shadow of that forest and you make your way within. And you can feel a pull coming from a certain place in the forest. Just allow that pull now to guide you through the trees. Maybe you have bare feet and you can feel the floor of that forest. Maybe you're floating again. Whichever is perfectly fine. And just allowing yourself now to walk or drift or run or fly through that forest to that point that is drawing you on. You can feel it now approaching. You can feel yourself getting closer. And eventually you find yourself there. An opening within the forest. A space opened up to the sky. And just moving into this space where the sun still touches the earth and allowing yourself to rest there now, to sink to the earth, to become one with that forest, to start to put down roots of your own, to start to become a mighty oak. And maybe initially you are just a little sapling growing, reaching up new limbs forming, new branches growing, as your roots move deeper and deeper into the earth, seeking nourishment and moisture. And then your trunk starts to thicken, your bark starts to change as you grow taller and stronger, reaching up towards the sky. Growing bigger and bigger until you are a fully grown, magnificent oak tree of your own. And all around you, the other oaks are there, standing in silence, supporting you, allowing you to be there. And maybe you are even taller than all those oaks around you. Maybe you want to thicken your trunk up even further and grow even higher so that now you are reaching up and out and over the forest, seeing as far as you can in all directions. 
and just feeling yourself there now, feeling yourself at one with that forest and yet an individual within it and knowing that none of those oaks question whether another oak is better than them or bigger than them. <laughs> they all just exist together in a symbiotic relationship with the earth, with the world, with the animals. The more depending on each other, nourishment and moisture to carry their seeds around. None of those trees think that they are better than any other tree. They are totally content just the way they are. Just allowing yourself now to feel how it feels to be one and yet to not need to be better. And just allowing yourself to feel how it feels to be strong as an oak, confident and wise. Just allowing yourself to be there. To know that you know everything you need to know. That you are already smart enough and wise enough and good enough. Just allowing yourself to feel how it feels to know this. And just resting there in that knowledge, in the strength of that oak, knowing that it is really your own strength you can feel. <sighs> just allowing yourself to relax there now, to not feel like you have to compete, to not feel like you have to be better or that you're not good enough, to realise <laughs> that we are all like the oaks, really. We are all perfect in our own way, no oak more perfect than the other. Allowing yourself to rest in this knowledge. And for your unconscious mind to link and connect. And now, before we begin our journey back to the here and now, one last gift for you. You see, there is a bird, a beautiful magical bird, that has travelled from the future with a gift for you, a message for you, a message for you from that future version of you, the one who has already done it, the one who has already created the life of abundance, who has put in the hard work, learned what they needed to learn, done what they needed to do. That future version of you that already exists in the quantum field. They have sent this magical bird back to you with a message. Maybe it's a feeling. Maybe it's words of wisdom. Maybe it's encouragement, I don't know. But as this bird comes and lands on a branch of your oak tree, just allowing yourself to open up and to receive the message from that future version of you. just thanking that bird, thanking him for coming all that way and thanking that future version of you for that message, that gift, whatever it was, whatever it may have been and allowing our unconscious mind to link and connect 
through time and space from this day forth to that future version of you allowing you to take what you have learned here today what you have released so that you can continue to move forwards so that you can continue to do what you need to do to have the success in your life that you want paving the way between now and when you will be that future version of you. And in a moment, beginning the process of coming back to the here and the now, bringing back with you exactly what you need and one feel the energy surge through your body two feeling more and more awake three wiggling fingers and toes and four preparing to open your eyes and five opening your eyes being fully alert fully awake back here back now and welcome back i hope you enjoyed this self-worth meditation and that you got something amazing out of it remembering that you can come back to this again and again as you need to moving forward through time Hey, if you liked this episode of Functional Marketing 101, you've got to check out my resources page. There you can join my Facebook group, The Fully Booked Coach, and I've also got heaps of free training there for you on all the tools that I use in my business, and there's even some gifts. So go check out my resources page at donnajoyasha.com forward slash resources.